Kansas courts have been working without online systems for more than a month now. We're getting a better idea of when we could see them come back online. 12 News reporter Kale Chapman was in Pratt where he spoke with one state lawmaker about what that recovery process will look like. Last month, the Kansas court system was hit by a cyber attack that took down information systems in 104 counties. Oh, I know it's frustrating for everybody. It's it's not a not an easy time. The Kansas Supreme Court says data was stolen during the attack, some of which may be confidential. Once a full review is complete, those impacted will be notified. For now, people must work with the courts in person and clerks are filing cases by hand with paper. But most systems could be back online by the end of December. Representative Kyle Hoffman is the chair of the House Committee on Information Technology and says while systems might be fixed soon, the courts need to take their time. Uh, you know, one of the things, they touch so many different other agencies, KBI, DCF, and so they need to make sure that they are secure before they start letting those uh, agencies come back on because we don't want something that's in their system to, to impact. The judicial branch is working to get the e-court case management system up first followed by the court's e-filing system in the district court public access portal. Hoffman hopes the court system will come back stronger than before. As far as some of the security, some of the safeguards that they put in, even some of the isolation of systems is going to be different than when they first got impacted. So I think it's going to be positive. Appellate court systems will be restored after district courts and other systems like protective orders and online marriage license applications will be restored as soon as possible. In Pratt, Kale Chapman, 12 News.